everyone, this is a very short and unscripted video on basically how to find your way around the website um, from a shopper's perspective. So everybody has to register to be able to make a purchase. You can either do that up front by clicking on this link on the menu bar. You fill out your name, your details, create a password, put in your phone and postcode. That's purely so that we know where to deliver to you if you choose a delivery option and so that we can contact you if there's ever any problem with your collection. You click to agree to terms and conditions and you create your account. You'll immediately be sent an email. It will most probably land in your junk folder. That's to verify your email. So take it out of your junk folder, put it in your inbox, click the link and that's you. You're all set up. You'll have an email address and a password that you can use to log on in future. You can also log on here up front if you're um, already registered. We've made the, some changes to the website, which means that you don't have to be logged in in order to see what's in the markets. Um, there are several ways you can find out, find your market or view your market. You can go to the hubs page. Now this is by far the more complicated way to find the hub nearest you. You can either use the search bar to type in your town name and you'll get any that are close to you. You can click on any on the map or for speed, I always just scroll down to the bottom and find the one I'm looking for. So here's my hub here, Mogai. You click on the little eye, you're taken to a homepage that gives you all the details about when the collection is, my contact details, social media for Mogai's site. There are 12 highlighted items as well as a sort of changing welcome message from me. And then at the bottom of this page, there's an enter the market button. And from here, you can see everything that's on offer. I'll get back to this in a minute, but that's one way to find your local hub. Go to the hubs bar um, on the menu bar. Once you've, once you've connected with the hub, you can also find your hubs that you've selected through your customer file. Oh, it needs you to log on for this, so I'll quickly log in. So in customer, there's a bit that says my food hubs. So once you've joined a food hub or several, you'll find them listed here. It saves you searching through all of the others. Um, in my capacity, I've, I've joined quite a few of them. But again, you just click the little eye in the middle of the image and it takes you to the hub. So that's one way on the website to find your local hub. The other way is if you go to the site's um, Facebook page, this is Mogai's, there's a shop now button really easy. You click there, it takes you straight into Mogai's Market. So that's the same page with the 12 highlighted items and the Enter the Market button. The other way to find us is we regularly send you emails. Uh, we let you know when the market opens, we let you know when it's the last day of the market, and we'll often send you an email midweek to tell you about products coming off or new ones coming on or um, anything that you might need to know for that week. So here's one of my messages to the customers at Mogai. This was sent today, uh, reminding them that the Little Sourdough Bakery comes off the market tomorrow morning. And I've now made it a policy that I always create a link to the actual market on all of my messages. So down at the bottom here, although there's a button that says go to the home page, that'll just take you to the main page of the site. But clicking this link here will again take you into Mogai's market. Straight in without any fuss. So whichever way you choose to do it, either through the Facebook page and click shop now, or through one of the emails, uh, like this one, and follow the link, or by going to the website itself and going to hubs and finding your local hub. And clicking on it here. So back to the market, like I said, every week the market's split into two sections. There's a home page with a little message to you all about what the offers are this week, details of the collection, social media links, and 12 highlighted items. You can choose any of these items from this page. You can view them by clicking the little eye. That takes you to the products page where you get a little bit more information sometimes.
you would click the size that you want. This only comes in one size and click add to cart. Up here it says item successfully added to the cart. And up here I already had one item in my basket. Now I have two. Clicking this button takes you back to the main market. And that was by viewing the product. I could also add it very quickly by clicking the little basket to add to cart. Like I said, again, this one only has one option. I'll just close that one down. Let's see if there's one that has more than one option. Yep, the milk. So we click on the basket for the milk and there are two options available. You can get 500 ml for a pound or a one litre for 150. So I'm going to click on the one litre. And again, up here it says item successfully added to the cart. If I look up at the top, there's the basket. There are now three items. So this is only the first page of the market. Some people get stuck here. If you go right down to the bottom, there's the big green button that says enter the market. So now all of the producers are listed and they're all listed in the same order as this list here. You can scroll down. If you know exactly what you want, if you want to go to Bon Accord Soft Drinks, you can click that and then only their products will appear. You can choose more than one product, one, more than one producer. You can also add on Robert Alexander, the butcher, and maybe Job Roo, our craft beer producer. And now only those producers that you've ticked will appear. It makes your list a lot shorter. So you just keep scrolling. The page loads 15 items at a time. You'll see a little pause in between each lot of 15. You just keep scrolling down and it'll keep adding until you get to the bottom of the page. So that's just showing three of the producers. We can clear that filter just by clicking the red button. Further down, we can search by category. I will put my hands up and say this is a bit of a footer to use, but let's have a go. You can click on bakery. and it'll list all the items that are classed as a bakery item. The website's actually super fast, but I'm out in a rural location, which means my connection makes things a bit slow. So these are all of our bakery items here. And that's by ticking that box. If I click this box here, you can go down to subcategories and narrow your search down even more. So let's see if anyone's got anything marked as vegan. Again, it's my connection that's making this take a while to load. So we've narrowed it down to bakery and vegan. And there we have three items that all fall within those two categories. If I want to order any of them, I've got three options here. First of all, I'll show you the view image button. It shows you a much bigger picture. Just everything's a bit clearer rather than the small, button, the small images up here. The other three buttons, you've got the view item button again, just like before. You click on the all knowing eye and you see all the details about that product. You can see all the options. Again, this one only has one option available. Description about it, its freshness. If anyone's reviewed it, that would appear here. If you want to add it to the basket, you highlight it. And then you click add to cart. You can also change the quantity if you want. And again, item successfully added to cart. Look up at the top, we've now got four items. Click the big green back button. Now we're seeing all the products again. So we're back to those three items that we're looking at. Um, the other buttons, if you want to immediately add it to the basket, you click the basket and you choose your selection. And that's it added to the cart. And the third option here is to view the details about the producer. So it does tell you at the bottom of all of these descriptions, producer, little sourdough bakery. If I hover over it, it also tells you about allergens, which we think is super important. But if you want to know more about the little sourdough bakery, you would click this button here and it'll take you to their producer page. This is purely for your information to learn a bit more about them. It's got all their contact details, a description about them, links to their own social media and it's got a list of all the products that they list with us. You can't actually shop on this page but it lets you have a, an idea about what they're all about. 
So again, we'll click back. And we've still got the filter on for these three items. So we're going to clear that filter. As soon as my browser comes back on. So that was us using the bakery and the subcategories down there. Clear the filter. The other thing we can do is there's a search bar at the top. So you've got three different things down the right, left hand side that help you narrow down your search. Some people just ignore that altogether and scroll through the whole item, the whole market. Uh, let's put on eggs. So if you're just looking for eggs, type into the bar, hit enter or the little green search button, and we should get anything egg related. There we go. Eggalicious eggs, large eggs, medium eggs, and our Dune and Farms duck eggs. This one's highlighted as being a hot item, so lots of people are buying those. Um, if anything was reviewed, the stars would be highlighted here, and you'd be able to view the reviews on the products page. And again, the same, the same images appear, the same icons appear on every image. So you can view the image large and close it again. You can go to the products page. And sometimes there's more information about it there. You can purchase the item here. Just go back again. Don't adjust your screens, it is coming. There we go. So that was us viewing the image. We can go to the producer's page, just like we did with the little sourdough bakery. There's Egalicious's page. You can learn all about them, where they are, how to contact them directly if you want to ask them any questions. Uh, their own social media pages and the products that they sell through the food hubs. So we'll clear this filter. as soon as the page finishes loading. And every time we clear the filter, it goes back to the default, which is showing every single item. And it will show them in the same order of producers that are listed here. So you know if you're looking for something from Wild Fig, you're going to have to scroll down quite far to get to them. That's why it's quite good if you know what you want, click on their name and it'll take you direct to their products. So if we want Wild Fig, Click on their name and that's us just got their products displayed. And there we are, that's what I was meaning about the items being reviewed. You can see there's five stars there on that item. If we go and view the product, you can see three customers have reviewed it. If you want to read the reviews, you click down here. David says the only cake I've tasted better was well to fix tea loaf. This is my review because I absolutely love it. It melts in the mouth, it's amazing. And a Mulgai customer called Helen said the most delicious cake ever. Once you've purchased an item on the site, it'll allow you to leave a review. So it won't let you leave a star rating or a comment until you've actually purchased the item. So we'll go back to all products again. It's simply taking us back to Wild Figs. To see the whole market, we clear the filter and we can start scrolling through them. So many of the markets have two, three, four hundred items. That's why we added the filters to the left. Although the category one is a bit of a faff, um, narrowing it down by producer or using the search bar works really well. So I'm going to go up to my basket. Like I said, just as a reminder, the page, the items load 15 items at a time. So you might find a slight pause as you're scrolling. I should also say that at the moment, the website works brilliantly well, as I'm doing just now on a laptop. Um, it works pretty well in tablets. Mobile phones, there's a lot of information there. It can be a little bit cluttered, um, especially if you try using the category filter. It can really drive you to distraction. But before I go into the basket, little bit of exciting news. We are working on apps for both Android phones and Apple phones. And these are some of the screenshots that our developers have sent us. These are only about two or three weeks away now, so we should be launching these in April. Um, if you think about it, it's usually only big businesses that have apps. And I've found out why they are 
exorbitantly expensive. I mean, really, really ridiculously costly to have made. Um, but we thought it was important. We managed to strike a good deal with the developers who had created our website and our customers and users have all told us that they would benefit from having an app that they could shop with quickly. So these are the drafts of how it's going to look. Um, so if you're finding the website difficult to use, especially on phones or tablets, um, this should make things a lot easier for you. So look out for this launching with a big bang in April sometime. Just minimize this. So we're back at the market. Um, I've chosen four items to put in my basket. We're going to click on the basket and here are all the items. Now, if I decide that I want two lots of milk, I can increase it. If I've decided I don't want the mushroom and caramelized onion brioche rolls anymore, it will only take you down to one. If you want to remove it altogether from your list, click the little red dustbin on the right hand side. It'll ask you, are you sure you want to delete it? Say OK. I'm going to do the same for the butter because I've got plenty of Katie's butter. Click OK. So at the moment I've got two milk and a gingerbread loaf. There's the total there, seven pounds. I can either click the button to go back and carry on adding to the basket. I can add a coupon. We've recently sent out some uh, coupon codes by email and there'll be more promotions to follow. So if you've got a code, you would enter it in here and click apply coupon and you would see over here the amount deducted. So I'm going to click on checkout. Now at the moment I am actually logged in. If I weren't logged in at this stage, a little pop-up window would come up wanting my email address and my password. Um, it also has a link there to register if you haven't yet registered. Again, it's giving you a chance if you want to carry on shopping, you can click that button. Or if you're happy to go ahead and pay, just check everything's correct one last time and click payment and place order. Now it's coming up with this message just now because I opted to save my card details. So right now a six digit code is being sent to my phone and that's all I have to type in here. That's it dinging in the background. But if I click this little arrow in the top left, it'll take me back to the regular page where I can enter in my card details. I'm going to see if I can remember my details. Oh, this is good. Okay, so I'm giving you all my card details right now, which isn't a very clever idea. Let me just pause the video and then I'll resume it in two seconds without revealing all my card details to everybody. So I just put in my card details, clicked pay. And this is a screen that tells you your payment's gone through successfully. And there in the corner is an email. If I click on it, should be able to show you that immediately after making a purchase, you'll get an email confirming it. So if you don't receive an email, you haven't put a purchase, your purchase hasn't gone through. So it's told me what I've ordered, how much I've spent. Um, when you go to collect your items, you'll get a little slip of paper that your host has as a reminder of what you've ordered. So you can access this on your phone as a reminder, but uh, the host knows what you've ordered when you go to collect it. So this screen just confirms that you've placed an order. I can now go back to the hub. I'll go the long way via the hubs page. I'm not going to search for it. I'm not going to use the map. I'm just going to scroll right down. Go into the market, which reveals my basket, and you can see there's zero because my sale went through. Anyway, I hope that's been useful. Sorry if I've gone on a bit. Like I said, it was rather unscripted. There are three ways to get to your hub. You can go via the website through hubs. You can go via the Facebook page and click shop now. Or you can follow the link from one of the many emails that I and the other hosts send out. Remember, this will only take you to the homepage. It's this link here. In this case, it says Mogai. that will take you to the market. Clicking any of these things takes you to the market page. And if it's opened, it's usually only closed for one day a week um, between one market closing and the next one opening. If it's open, you'll see this main page with a message, 12 items and an enter the market button. 
it's pretty similar to this if you access it on a tablet or a mobile. And then, like I said, it, la it loads 15 items at a time, so you might see a slight pause as you scroll down, like that. But you can scroll through the whole um, list of producers right to the bottom, or you can use the filters to the left-hand side. Like I said, my favourite one is either to search by name, which usually gets you the result you're looking for, or just click on whichever producer or producers you'd like to shop with. I'm always here to answer any questions. My contact details are right at the bottom of the website. Let's go down to this page here just to show you. Down at the bottom here in grey. So that's my phone number at home. Uh, that's the email address you can get me on. I'm literally up until midnight most nights just monitoring that all the sales are going through because the markets tend to close at midnight. Feel free, do not hesitate to pick up the phone if you're having difficulty or to email me. I'll get back to you straight away. Okay, hope this has been of help. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.